Hi friends this is next part of PHP Ajax chat application and in this part we have discuss how can we remove chat message from group. In previous part we have seen step by step process for remove chat message from one to one chat application using PHP with Ajax. In this application we have add group chat feature also. So we want also give user to remove chat message from group chat history also. For this we have go to index page of our live chat application and here we have use fetch group chat history function for fetch chat history in group. This function has send Ajax request to group chat.php page for fetch group chat message and display under group chat modal box. So we have go to group chat.php file and here we can see fetch group chat history function use for fetch data from database and send to Ajax request. This function we have make in database connection.php file, so here we can see this function for fetch data from MySQL database and convert it into HTML data format. Here first we want to put chat remove button with chat message of particular user, for this we have go to this if block where dollar row from user id variable value is equal to session user id variable. This condition will be true if particular chat message of login user then it will execute if block of code. Under this block here in dollar user name variable. Here we have append html code like button type is equal to button class is equal to remove chat and in id attribute we have store dollar row chat message id variable this code will make dynamic chat remove button for login user and that user can view chat remove button along with his chat message so Friends here we have login by using John Smith username and in password we have enter password after login into chat application. We have go to group chat, here currently there is no any chat message, so here we have share one chat message into this group. Here in group chat history we can see chat message with remove chat button, this button only visible to John Smith user, not visible to other user of group. In another browser we have login as Peter Parker account and go to group chat modal box. So here we can see group chat history and here we can see one message which has been shared by John Smith, but here in Peter Parker account we cannot see remove chat message, that means our code working. Now we have again go to index page and here we have already write jQuery code for remove button with class remove chat, so here we have write for one to one chat message, so we do not write this code again. This code has send Ajax request to remove chat.php, which will update status of particular chat message to 2, so it will invisible in chat history. But we want to display message like this chat has been removed in place of particular chat message. For this we have again go to database connection.php file fetch group chat history function. Here under this if block here we have write dollar chat message variable is equal to blank value, under this variable we will store chat message. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row status variable value is equal to 2, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code.
if this condition true that message user has removed particular chat, so here we have write dollar chat message is equal to string like this message has been remove. And below this we have write dollar username variable is equal to you, so login user cannot see his deleted chat message and he cannot see delete button also. But suppose message is not deleted then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar chat message variable is equal to dollar chat message. Here we have store chat message under this dollar chat message variable, and with this chat message login user can his chat message with remove button, which code we have already written. This whole block for login user and his chat message, but what we'll see other group member in group chat history, for this we have go to else block of code. Under this block also we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row status variable value is equal to 2, if particular status value will be 2 then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar chat message variable is equal to string message like this message has been remove, so other group member see this message in place of deleted chat message. But suppose chat message is not removed then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar chat message variable is equal to dollar row chat message variable. Now here we have replaced dollar row chat message variable with dollar chat message variable, because in this variable we have store dynamic chat message for check message deleted or not. Now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have go to John Smith user login account and here we have open group chat modal. Here we can see on chat message which has been shared by this John Smith user and here we can see remove button also. Now we have click on remove chat button and click on OK. After this we can see in place of chat message like this message has been removed under group chat history. Now we have go to Peter Parker account and go to group chat modal, and here we can see John Smith share one chat message but he has removed it. Now from Peter Parker account we have share one message into group chat. After share of message into group chat here in Peter Parker account we can see his chat message under group chat with remove button. Now we have go to John Smith account and in group chat modal we can see Peter Parker chat message but with his message here we cannot see remove chat message. So only user can remove his own chat message from group chat. In next part we will add some more feature into this PHP Ajax chat application. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.